One of the most exciting players in college football will return to action in Week 7 when two-way star Travis Hunter and the Colorado Buffaloes face number 18 Kansas State in Big 12 action. Deion Sanders' Buffaloes had an open week after coming off what may be their most impressive win of the season, and possibly the best win of the Sanders era, beating UCF 48-21 on the road. As usual, Hunter was a major contributor to the Buffaloes' success in that game. Offensively, Hunter had 9 receptions for 89 yards, his only game under 100 yards this season, and a touchdown. He also made two tackles and recorded an outstanding interception in the third quarter on defense. This game against Kansas State will now be Colorado's biggest test yet, meaning Sanders will be looking to utilize Hunter in every way possible. The Buffaloes, 4-1, are already perfect in conference play, 2-0, largely due to Hunter's contributions. What kind of impact will he make against the Wildcats? Here's a look at some bold predictions for Travis Hunter in Week 7 against Kansas State. Travis Hunter plays at least 130 snaps against Kansas State. It's astonishing that any player can log over 100 snaps in a single game. Yet that's exactly what Travis Hunter does every weekend for the Colorado Buffaloes. Through Colorado's five games this season, Hunter has already played a staggering 662 snaps per pro football focus averaging an unreal 132.4 per game. Those numbers are practically unheard of in today's game. What makes it even more impressive is that hopeful Heisman Trophy candidate isn't just playing on both offense and defense. He's also involved in special teams. His versatility and stamina make him one of the most unique players in college football. Expect another packed night against Kansas State, with Hunter likely logging at least 130 snaps. Travis Hunter causes at least one Kansas State turnover. Travis Hunter is just as electrifying on defense as he is on offense. In Colorado's overtime win against Baylor, Hunter made a crucial play by forcing a fumble right at the goal line, further proving his two-way capabilities. So far this season, the versatile star has caused three turnovers, continuing to be a game-changer for the Buffaloes on both sides of the ball. Kansas State brings a solid team in terms of turnover margin, ranking 30th in the country at plus 0.5, but they still average at least one giveaway per game. Their interception rate, sitting at 2.83%, ranks 80th, showing that they can be vulnerable. No matter who Hunter is up against, he has a knack for making game-altering plays, and it wouldn't be surprising to see him cause more disruption against the Wildcats. Travis Hunter has at least eight receptions for at least 110 yards and a touchdown. Coach Sanders made a conscious decision not to push Travis Hunter too hard in Colorado's win over UCF, prioritizing the team's victory over Hunter reaching his usual 100-yard mark. It was the only game this season where Hunter didn't hit the century mark in receiving yards, though he's still averaging an impressive 112.2 yards per game. While Hunter didn't rack up yardage, he did find the end zone, scoring his sixth receiving touchdown of the season. He's only been kept out of the end zone in two games so far, Nebraska and Baylor. Saturday could be another big day for Hunter, especially against a Kansas State defense that struggles in the passing game, allowing 280.8 yards per game at 7.9 yards per attempt. Hunter may very well pile on more yards and touchdowns against this vulnerable secondary.